Hey folks, back in the shop again here today. Didn't get a video in last week. My daughter had a hockey tournament, so we uh, drove four hours down the highway and spent the weekend there. They won, by the way. So it was fun to get away. First, uh, first tournament since pre-COVID. Uh, other than that, I've been doing a lot of winterizing around here. Got all the farm to deal with, so fall's kind of a busy time. I wanted to get out here and get few more things done on this before we call it for the winter because it's just soon going to get too cold to really do anything meaningful out here. So I think what I'm just going to do here is I'm going to get the radiator put in it, plumb all my lines because I, I have to make a radiator cradle and I got still got to mount this front clip. It's uh, held on by the two bolts there at the back but nothing up front here so I got to figure something out up here. Big thing about the radiator, of course, it's the, the normal radiators and these things stick up about yay high, the older thin. I got the original cradle over there, but I'm not going to use that. The S10 frame is a lot narrower, so I'd have to do all kinds of modifications to it, and it doesn't really fit the radiator I got anyway. When I look at this front end, it's closer at the top than it is at the bottom for some reason. And I can't for the life of me figure out why that happened. Because I mean, I had I had big gaps up here. So if anything, I would have thought this would be wider at the top and it's not. So this front end has been twisted in every conceivable manner and rotted. So it's very much a, a blank canvas at this point. I might even just narrow it up front and narrow up the grill. Nah, that's too much work. All right, so there's the red from Southwest Speed. I already put the electric fan on it. Fits beautifully in there, like almost like it was made to fit there. Uh, there's no tabs or anything, you know, for bolting it on. So what you got here is the channel up top and the channel down below. Fits in the opening. It's actually a little lower there than what I want. I want it more or less flush right here. That way I can lean over and burn my arm on it every time. Because what's the point of putting in a radiator if it's not a burn hazard? So, I'm making up some brackets here, something for the top. Let's get a 90 bend. That'll make a 90 bend. That, I almost think I knew what I was doing. Two identical brackets? Wow, what are the odds? What I'm thinking is I got this 1x2. That fits perfectly in the top of the radiator. I can weld these uh, on here like that. And that'll sit in the top of the rad. And because of where the rad cap is, I gotta have the offset, otherwise I can't get the rad cap off. So I made these an inch longer to push the radiator closer to the engine, which gives me the clearance for the rad cap. So I'm gonna go ahead and weld these on, I guess. Don't want that poking a hole in my aluminum rad. <laughs> Wonder why my clamp wasn't working. There's a hole there. <laughs> wow, I need glasses. Yeah, I completely missed it. <laughs> Pro tip. <laughs> Never weld when you don't have glasses. Hey, I can see. So something like that is what I'm looking at. MIG welding works better when you turn the gas on. So there's what we're looking at. I guess got the bottom mocked up on a piece of steel there across the sway bar um, to get me the height that I wanted. Rad cap works, no problem, get it on and off. I gotta bend this down just a smidge to get it to line up a little better because that bottom thing is actually pushing the radiator up a little bit, but no biggie. Doesn't look too bad, I mean, it's, it's a rat rod. Uh, to get it out, you're just going to, you know, five bolts right here, easy access, that piece comes off, top mount comes off, radiator comes out the top. 
now that I got that part in, make up what I need down there. So it's gonna be the same thing, this one by two uh, across the bottom underneath here. Well, here's what I got hooked up. The bottom piece there, that valence is really floppy and needs some reinforcement. So I'm gonna tank that chunk of angle there, put it in the back, and then for the radiator cradle, I got these 1 8 by 1 inch steel that I'm going to weld like that and then onto that 1 by 2 that's in there. I'm going to go ahead and zip these on real quick. All right, so there's that piece we just made up that sits on the valence, it's a stiffener more than anything. I didn't really need the angle, I mean I could have welded that on, but the steel is so old and flimsy that that's almost a necessity. If you don't want to drop your radiator out on the road and it's kind of expensive item to be just dropping, so I'm all for a little bit of overkill. Well, that won't be going anywhere. I think we'll let that cool for a few minutes. So the reason the strap is here is because I have a very odd shaped opening here. This pillar here is kicked way out at the bottom and this one's kicked in a bit. So it's kind of a, what is that? A trap, not a trap, it's like a parallelogram. And I'm trying to square it up a little bit. So that's just kind of putting some tension. I just got some bolts crammed in the holes to pull this in and pop over just to kind of square it up a little bit going forward it'll make putting the grill in easier and, but when you look at this there's just not a whole lot of structure down here oh now i can see Straighter, but still not what I would like. Radiators in there pretty good. I mean, it ain't going anywhere now. Once everything cools down here, I'm gonna take that back out, and I got some uh, little rubber, 1 8 rubber that I'm gonna put in there, just cause whenever it comes to steel versus aluminum and vibration, uh, the steel always wins. As I said, this thing had been in some minor fender benders, uh, when it came, all of this was bent in. There was a couple of big creases here. You can see the hood emblem is all smashed. And I straightened out the hood quite a bit as well. Uh, the grill, you can see there the line. Where whatever they hit, and then over here, whatever they hit. But uh, yeah, that goes in like that. So there's the big bad Mercury logo. An awful lot of chrome for an old rack rod, but we'll be putting that back on as well. Again, you can see where I had to straighten it out from where it got creased there. But uh, it fits pretty good now. We'll be slamming that all back on eventually here and get a little bit of bling going on. So anyways, there's what she uh, more or less looks like. I got these chrome pieces here too. I just don't have the little spring clips that holds it in. Anyway, like, comment, subscribe, and... We'll see you on the next one.